So this is happening again. We still don't have our PCR test results back. Flight one of two successfully done. And now it's crunch time. So we genuinely do not know if we're gonna actually make it. Come on, PCR test results. Come on. We're Craig and Kirsty, a full-time travel couple sharing our adventures here on YouTube. We upload new travel content every week from different parts of the world, so please subscribe and welcome to the adventure of Tide Not Travellers. So this is happening again. Time Not Travellers 2.0. We're back on exactly the same escalator that we were almost two years to the day. And it is literally the most deja vu moment ever. Hopefully we won't get stopped this time. <laughs> <laughs> and we've still got to find out whether we've actually got our PCR results back yet before we can fly, so <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Living on the edge. Well, I posted it Tuesday night, but I'm guessing they would have gone yesterday morning first thing. Down it. Down Just realised this has to be empty. Down it. There's nowhere to empty it, so I've got to drink it. Down in one. Drink, 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 <laughs> drink. A star student here already emptied mine. Someone didn't get the memo. I just want to be hydrated. We are making our way to the boarding gate and unfortunately we still don't have our PCR test results back. Thankfully we don't need it for this first flight but we do need it to be able to board our second flight. This flight's only two hours so we're really hoping that by the time we land we'll have our PCR results so that we can get on board the next one. So yeah, not the smoothest start but they're being processed apparently so hopefully and hopefully they'll be negative, should be. We'll see, wish us luck. We're praying everything goes smoothly today. It's all hanging on this test that Kirsty just told you about. But if all goes well, we should make it to a brand new continent for both of us in the next 12 to 18 hours or so. So we are super excited. And with it being a new year, we're just hoping for things to start going a bit smoother. Time to board, let's go. Pull a mask towards you to start the oxygen. Put the mask over your nose and mouth and breathe normally. That is flight one of two successfully done, and now it's crunch time I really <laughs> to see <hope> if <laughs> our PCR tests have come back in time, which will enable us to take our next flight to a new place for both of us, a new country and potentially a new continent. Either way, we'll be in a Spanish-speaking country today. <laughs> Big clue there. <laughs> Just come through security at Madrid Airport and Kirsty's on the phone to the PCR COVID testing company to try and hurry up our test. So we checked our emails and we haven't received anything yet to give us our test results. And so Kirsty's just chasing it up on the phone. We're still hanging in there. Fingers crossed. 
just got off the phone to the company that are doing our PCR test back in England and they said that they are processing the PCR test, everything looks okay, meaning it looks negative, but it takes a certain amount of time to process. We won't get our certificate uh, for at least another hour or so and obviously we need it to check into our next flight. Our flight leaves exactly three hours from now, so we need to check in soon. So it's going to be really touch and go as to whether the certificate comes through in time or not. Um, and basically he said it, it may or may not, he can't guarantee it, but hopefully it should come through in the next hour. So we genuinely do not know if we're going to actually make it today. We might have to miss our flight and end up staying here in Madrid and then getting a flight another day. Hopefully that won't happen, but Yay! Really annoying knowing that it's negative and we just can't show a certificate, but this is what it is. <laughs> We're just not allowed to travel without stress. It's just not allowed to happen. <laughs> First step back into full-time travel. Wouldn't be right if it didn't look like this, would it really? <laughs> Come on, PCR test results. Come on, hurry up. Remember to be at your gate at the assigned calling time. And let's do another check. I have to log in. Oh, there it is. We've got it. Give it. Need to view. And the test results. I'm good. We are. Well, so Kirsty's good. We are literally in the line for the check-in, and we were just going to go up and explain our situation and hope. And then Craig just got the email, so I grabbed my phone, got the email. Mine's negative. Yes. He's just like <laughs> negative. <laughs> this is happening live, right here, right now. <laughs> this is insane. I've never been so stressed, and you know, we we travelled in the pandemic, so that's saying something. <laughs> we can get on the flight. Have you got a spare hand? So happy. so happy. That's unbelievable timing. <laughs> that was insane. I thought you were winding me up when you said no, this has no. come through. <sighs> Boom. So happy. So happy. <laughs> Literally two seconds after we just got our results, the man came in the line asking everyone for their PCR results and came to us first and asked us for ours. We were like, there it is. Literally fresh, just arrived. That was insane timing. <laughs> we're good to go. Ah, oh, hola España. <laughs> Yeah, we checked in and we thought we'd head out, get a little bit of fresh air, catching a little bit of sunshine in Spain before we go back in and get through security again. So excited! We're going to Argentina <laughs> today! <laughs> That's it, we've made it. We're actually about to get on the plane. Woohoo! Let's go to South America! Hola. Hola. Fasten the buckles and pull the end of the straps. Inflate by pulling the tabs firmly down in the straps between their legs. Inflating. 13 hour journey ahead of us, so I'm gonna get myself some of this plain food. The vegetarian option is pasta, which is always nice. The some dehydrated cheese and of course Spanish omelet. <laughs> Craig went for the chicken. There's also like a little cake thing. It's good. And a bread roll. It's looks great. It's been a long time since we've been on a long haul flight. We are so excited. And I'm tired. Really tired. Yes. Ciao. Ciao. It's 4am in the morning, really excited to have arrived. 
need to take this off straight away. It's really hot and humid. We haven't slept for the best part of two nights. <laughs> But we are so excited to be so here. Happy. It's a new continent for both of us. So it's my fifth continent and Kirsty's sixth. Yeah, one more to go and then I've done it all. And we made it here by the skin of our teeth. Yeah. <laughs> Thank warm. you for the PCR test. Yeah. We've got a taxi booked to take us to our accommodation, but we can't check in until 2 p.m. But then we're gonna so do. maybe we'll wander the streets of Buenos Aires in the dark. <laughs> for a few hours. We tried to see if we could do anything and they said they couldn't. We were like, okay, even if we booked an extra night, which I did originally, they said, no, we still can't let you check in. So, <laughs> you know what we'll do, we'll figure out. But let's get through security first. So easy. Everyone's so friendly so far. The immigration lady was really friendly. We had a nice little chat with her. Came out and the case was ready for us. <laughs> it was Happy it was days. <laughs> now it's in mine. Second time round, I learned how to half the amount of stuff that I bought. I shrunk my big blue case into a small blue one. Finally made it to country number 11. A little bit later than planned, about year and a half later than planned but there we go we're here now we've got to find our driver to get us to where we need to go it's warm i'm in a t-shirt <laughs> Hello. done let's jump in we've got the taxi and we're seeing our first argentinian sunrise and the football stadium which is making me very happy it's <laughs> like so we're having a, a tour of the football ground so far <laughs> and to be honest we're getting treated like royalty by our taxi driver and we're really hoping that we can check into our room as soon as possible we're not supposed to be able to get in until 2 p.m but the lady seems to be sorting something out for us so fingers crossed it's not even 7 a.m yet we're ready for some sleep after waiting around in the hotel for a few hours we just are so sleepy so we decided we're gonna go and find a cafe so we just decided we're going to go find ourselves a cafe, get a bit of coffee. We've still got, it's not even 9am yet. We've still got, I can 10, 11, 12, what is it? Five hours to kill before we can get in our room. And we are so tired. It looks really nice, the place we're staying looks nice, but can't get in there yet, so. We're just walking around, we're going to explore Buenos Aires, feeling like complete zombies. Let's go grab some coffee so we can wake up a little bit. We found ourselves a little cafe and ordered us ourselves a coffee, which looks really nice. Um, already made up my first faux pas <laughs> since getting to Argentina. I know they love me over here. Um, we ordered eggs on toast and they just came out and it's scrambled eggs and it's uh, also just filled with ham, which Craig's really happy about. He's got his, but I almost had to say to the guy, oh, really sorry, can I have it without ham? I didn't realise that when you order eggs on toast, it comes with meat. Should have thought about that. <laughs> so yeah. I'll have to wait a little longer for my eggs on toast, but that's a learn. <laughs> Coffee's really good. Oh, I need that so much. I need coffee, sleep, shower, all of the above. Sorry, we're such zombies on camera. I've got a really good people watching spot, which is quite handy because we're not even talking to each other. We're just sat here in silence, zoning out and watching people and absorbing Buenos Aires. <laughs> and trying not to nod off. We've still got four hours to go. Four and a half. <laughs> Do this. Everyone is so super friendly. The waiter was really nice in there. He's really excited that, to think that we just got here and came straight to his cafe, which I just feel like we look really scruffy, but he was happy to see us. And he's really excited to see the map that Craig drew. He's like, ah, you're here, you're traveling around. And we were like, yeah. <laughs> 
So yeah, Craig's been on his map drawing skills. If you remember our video, our two year anniversary in Estonia, I drew Craig a map as an anniversary card. Proof that he loves maps. He just sat and drew one the first day here, shattered, he's drawn like a perfect map of South America. Well, we'll see how perfect. I'll let you be the judge of that. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. I've got it all planned out now. Know what we're doing. <laughs> and we haven't even slept or showered yet. <laughs> that's what one coffee does for us. <laughs> After arriving at our hotel here in Buenos Aires at 7am, we are finally checked into our room. It's been a long morning, so it is now 10 to 3 in the afternoon. Here's our apartment. Let's knock on the door. We're in at last. It's been a long morning, as Craig just said. We are absolutely shattered, so this is going to be a super quick room tour. And it's a studio, so as you can see, bed is right here. Looking forward to getting in that later after two nights of no sleep. Up on the 14th floor, so we've got really awesome views over here. Nice little desk for us to work from. Own balcony. Looking forward to sitting out here and having a coffee. I mean, it's quite yeah, an industrial view, but this is this is Buenos Aires. 14th floor, great views. And then we've got a cute little kitchen, small but perfectly formed. Got a washing machine. We're basically going to throw everything we've been wearing for two days in there and go for a swim. Yes, this building has got a swimming pool as well, so that's really nice. Outdoor pool, we'll be heading there to go cool off. Little freezer, fridge. While we were waiting to check in, we did actually manage to go and get a little bit of food. Not much, we've got some food and water. Apparently you can't drink the water here from the taps. So it's 25 pounds to get that amount of shopping. This value is based on the bank's official conversion rate, but we now know there's a much better unofficial rate that would have halved the cost of this food shop. But we'll fill you in on that another day when we're a bit more awake. If that gives you any kind of idea. Um, we've got a TV. So here's the bathroom. We've got a few basics just to see you through the first sort of day. Shower, bath. Oh, it's got like doors. Look, that's different. Now you slide like that. We're going to go for a swim. Then we're going to come back, shower and take a nap. We are shattered. <laughs> So yeah, we're really happy to be here. We finally made it to Buenos Aires. We were supposed to come here March 2020, and that was part of our Plan B route. So yeah, we're excited to be here. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you on the next one. We've got so much to show you. We can't wait to explore this place. So if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe so you can see next time we load an adventure. We're gonna show you Argentina. Thanks for watching, bye. Join us next time as we head straight out to see what Buenos Aires has to offer and immerse ourselves into its oldest neighbourhood, San Telmo. We visit the Sunday fair before heading inside the famous covered market for a tasty bite to eat. For daily updates on our travels, head over to our Instagram at TideNotTravelers or for exclusive behind the scenes content, we'd love you to join us on Patreon. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. I'm hoping that because we have got two flights to get, um, we don't need the PCR until our second flight.